early on in my spiritual growth, I took a course called Landmark Education. It was all about consciousness. It was a great course. And at the end of it, it left me with one single idea, along with everything else I learned. The world is empty and meaningless. That struck me. It actually took me into a little bit of a dark night of the soul. It freed me from victimhood, knowing that I'm the creator. And sure, people are meaning-making machines. We make meanings out of all kinds of stuff. So it's true. But I'd also learned that God, the Father, is this in this absolute realm of etern- eternity, infinity. And what happens here doesn't really impact that very much at all. Just like David's saying in the piece. Everybody goes to heaven. I learned that once. And I was like, what's the point? In fact, what's the point of any of this? If it's all empty and meaningless and nothing I do really, really matters. And so, for a while, nothing moved me. But that's because I shut down my heart. I became very stoic. I was like, none of this matters. Nothing matters anyway. So what's the point? But luckily, that wasn't the end of my spiritual journey. (laughs) I had other spiritual teachers as I continued along the way. And I learned that there is meaning. But it's not necessarily everything that happens to us. It's what comes through us. It's how we know ourselves by our living, by our expression. And by tuning into that ultimate reality, there's a true meaning that I get to experience and then know through myself as it comes through me. My living, my choices, my love, that has meaning. It does. And to be an inner symphony within myself, I have to line up these different parts of myself, my outer self, my inner self, lined up with the spirit, the heart, and the mind, all come into an alignment where that pure music of the song can come through as God the conductor moves this musician as the hands moving the instruments. And then as we do that, we have the opportunity to do that with others. Otherwise, we're just making a bunch of sounds and probably reacting to other people's sounds depending on what sound we make. So I just invite us into this space of tuning in to the cosmic conductor the God within, letting the music move through you and knowing that your, how you show up in the world is what has meaning. That's part of your book of life that can never be erased, regardless of all the dissonance around. Hold a tone.